uh, coming from Cyclone Freddy, a deputy came to pick up down here in Telemann, uh, the province, as the cyclone approaches the coast. Now, Freddy is one of the strongest forces ever recorded in the southern hemisphere, and it could be the longest lasting Strong winds and heavy rain hitting the central port town of Telemann, the residents have to storm. Communications and electricity supply in the storm area have been cut. So the extent of the damage and number of casualties was not immediately clear. Heavy rainfall. So uh, we're obviously very concerned about the devastation that the winds will bring. But uh, we can see the winds and the impacts of the flooding. And that puts uh, people at risk of both short-term impacts, uh, but also things like uh, an exacerbation of the color outbreak that the country is facing. No the longer term disruption of critical services like health, education, it, it's inevitable that the, that the impact will be will be severe. I remember that evening well. Freddy brought torrential rain and ferocious winds that carried more than just their force. They brought devastation and fear. That night, every family sought comfort in each other's presence, and the morning sun revealed a world forever changed. We took refuge at my aunt's house in the dry zone. We thought we'd be returning home and to school after two days, but it turned into three days, then four, then a month. We waited a long time for the land to be dry again. Every road was transformed into a river, and every once familiar path became unrecognizable. You'd have needed a canoe to get to school, but even school as we knew it was not there anymore. Our house was gone. My school was damaged. The cassava fields were no longer there. We were left only with crisis. Crisis in capital letters. A reminder that everything can change in the blink of an eye. The land had the scars of Freddy's passage, but the storm also revealed something else. A spirit unbroken, a community united in their resolve to rebuild. We lifted fallen branches, cleared debris. We came together, cut sticks and straw, and rebuilt the schools in any way we could, so we could study, so children could have a safe space to dream, so our teachers could help us shape a future with the possibility of hope. The classroom that once held the promise of education was now a blank canvas for resilience, a chair under the tree and the need to begin again. I always dreamed of going to school, finishing school, becoming a teacher one day. Being able to understand the world around me and travel to other lands through the pages of a book. Big dreams need to have strong foundations that we can weather all storms, a spirit that cannot be broken. In difficult times, I like to think that somewhere in the world, in the warmth of a school with desks and books, or just under the shelter of a tree, children are learning the lessons and skills they need to help shape a more sustainable future.